Could you explain why the Mexican artists were so involved in mural? Oh, very good question. So they had the idea that art shouldn't be just for the elite and the wealthy. They wanted it to be for the public, that art should be for everybody. And in that, that's one reason why they really committed themselves to making, depicting subjects that were, that were relevant to everyday people in a style that was accessible. What made the work so exhilarating for Americans is that their work was public and the subjects were accessible to everyone, but it, they used a style that was powerful and dramatic. So it was this union of a powerful composition with subjects that were relevant to everyone. But it, it, it come back to uh, Renaissance painting, no? Exactly. So the Renaissance was, it was their model. And that was called the Mexican Renaissance for that very reason. Ah. They were depicting in the same way that the Italian Renaissance were depicting stories for an illiterate population. The Mexican muralists were depicting stories about Mexican history and the social ideals of the revolution for also a population that was illiterate. But in a way, when we speak about Diego Rivera and his roots, we go to Cubism and to Paris, and now it's Italy of Renaissance. Isn't yes, exactly. that surprising? Exactly. So he you know, was a Cubist in Paris, and in some ways he used uh, montage, Cubist montage, in his, in his composition. So he was incorporating French modernist styles, but he also was definitely looking to the Italian Renaissance and was often actually compared to Giotto. Those large, rounded flat forms of Giotto are very reminiscent of early Rivera. Sikeros too, he loved the Baroque, and those swirling figures in, in Sikeros' work come directly out of Baroque art. So 